Alrighty, this is just gonna be a quick video on the patch for Lies of P. It just came out, uh, I believe around midnight today. And most of it is just making the game easier, so breathe a sigh of relief if um, you've been having trouble, especially with some of the end game bosses. First of all, it goes into the field monster balance changes. It's decreasing HP, increasing the chance of breaking stance and frequency of stagger, as well as increasing the staggerable window time, which is nice. Uh, they're adjusting the rewards for some of the monsters. That's increasing drop rates of moonstone type items, decreasing the drop rate of star fragments, which is fine. There's honestly way too many of those. I was actually selling them as I got to the end of the game. But I was also save scrumming so that I didn't waste throwable items as well, so I don't know, it might be detrimental to those who do not wish to save scrum, but for people like me it didn't really matter that much. Anyways, it's going to increase the drop rate of ergo items, so that'll be crystals, which is nice, more experience, and increasing the ergo rewards of certain monsters that appear after Lorenzini Arcade which is around level, or area 7, rather. Anyways, the bon boss monster balance changes. Wow, look at me, I can speak English. Anyways, they're decreasing the HP of the Archbishop, the King of Puppets, and Simon Manus. They're decreasing damage of Simon Manus's second phase, and they're increasing the chance to break the stance of the f second version of him as well, which is good. Um, I thought the end boss was very RNG based, and I recently refought him today, and it was a lot less of a pain in the ass. So if you got to that boss and you were like, holy crap, I don't want to play this game anymore, go back and give it another shot. Honestly, I think it's worth checking that. Anyways, something I really like, and I'm sad that wasn't there when I played through the game three times, is now they're um, resetting allowing reset of the character's level, organs, and legion arms at the gold coin tree. So that happens faster than area 7 and more like area 5-ish, which is... Or is it area 6? I don't know. Either way, it's faster, which isn't bad. Um, this is very minor, but you'll get more gold coin fruits the first time, which is 8 instead of 5. And they've reduced the amount of gold coin fruits to reset levels P organs and legion arms. I thought it was fine on my first playthrough, but on my second and third playthrough it was like 30 fruit for your first try. And being that new game plus and new game plus plus add a phase six and seven to your organ situation, your P organs, it felt really annoying that I had to like wait around for fruits to spawn, so I'm glad they reduced that. There's some additional changes. Um, you'll be able to carry more weight for each spent, uh, each point spent on capacity, which I think is really good. Um, I think by the time I beat the game on my first go through, I was like level 40 something on capacity because I had all the the best defensive gear equipped. Anyhow. They decrease the weight of the boss amulets, which is awesome, because some of those were ridiculous. They were like 20 weight. Uh, players will now be able to land attacks better when they use fable arts that consume three or more slots. So what I'm thinking that means is if you're using a lot of slots with your fable gauge, then you're not going to get interrupted by like minor attacks. That's what I'm hoping it does, but I haven't tested it because I use a one Fable Gauge attack with the Chef Blade, um, which is this blade right here. And it basically allows you to get a three hit attack per one Fable Gauge. And when you have five Fable Gauges, that's 12 attacks. So I think that's pretty awesome. So I haven't, like I said, tested it because I like the handle that I'm using. Anyways. Successfully performing the Fable Art, Guard Parry will now break the monster's stance. That's really cool because you don't need to invest points 
into the perfect guard break monster stance skill in the P organs now. You can just simply get really good at parrying if you like one of the guard parry um, blades or handles, and you don't have to worry about that any longer, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you're using a dual shock 4 or dual sense controller, which is PlayStation 5 controller, on Windows operating systems, they fixed a bunch of bugs that had very low chances of occurring. But that's about it. Honestly, these are all thoughtful improvements, in my opinion. All of them good. And I hope, if you guys were having trouble out there, that this will uh, make your experience a better one. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.